The protection of human rights goes to the very purpose of the United Nations. If security and development are two pillars of the United Nations work, human rights is the third. The promise of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights must continue to drive action on the ground. Human rights education will empower the public to know and exercise their rights. All rights matter. That rights are indivisible. We, are, we need civil and political rights as much as we need economic, social and cultural rights. When people hear the word human rights, they normally think of activism. Those guys who really want to make sure that people throw the line. The United Nations General Assembly in 2004 declared a decade of human rights education. The essence was to ensure that people, students everywhere in the world study human rights. In the year 2004, the United Nations General Assembly also focused on human rights education at the higher, 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 higher institutions, which is university and uh, post-secondary education. And the focus again is to ensure that students at that level also get involved in understanding human rights. We chose five pilot universities which we approached. Out of these pilot, pilot universities, we expected to get one or two that would eventually buy into the proposal. But Lekipe University accepted faster, moved with us faster than any other university. This course is linked to our history. It is also linked to our location. It is also linked to our cultural diversity where we are located in Kenya. And uh, it is also uh, the fact that Lekipe University could be one of the northernmost institutions of higher learning in this country. Because from where we are, you move north about 40 kilometers, you are already in an arid, semi-arid situation. And uh, where we are is a transition point between high potential part of Kenya and low potential, medium potential. And within the medium potential areas of Kenya, these are areas with very serious uh, challenges. One of them is related to the geographical endowment of the area. Being semi-arid, most of the residents here are pastoralists. And because of the declining resource base, there are very serious issues of conflict. Maybe they are fighting over grassland or water or land itself. And you'll find that um, a course like uh, human rights, it's very relevant where people have got issues, where there is a lot of cultural diversity. We are a mixture of almost every Kenyan is here. And uh, we have students. And if we can uh, get our students to really understand and practice and recognize uh, our respective human rights. The human rights course is a common core course for Laikipia University. In this case, we are offering it to all first years who come here in the first year, the first semester, so that by the time they leave this place, they are aware of their rights. We have roughly 1,600 students who are uh, involved in this particular course. Uh, it's a new course uh, that uh, started at the beginning of uh, this trimester, that's September 2013. Um, this course is covering all aspects of human rights, but at a level of first years to just to understand first. So first of all, we have the philosophical foundations of human rights and the historical background. We also have the UN system, with the Bill of Rights and how the UN has contributed to human rights. We also have the regional system in Africa. Um, we, after that, we we'll go on and look at the Kenyan constitution. By just studying human rights, I'll be able to stand firm, you know, maybe to tackle the questions about the society. You know, in the society, if you don't know your rights, then you'll be oppressed. You know, the beauty about human rights is that it's not just about one party. Human rights is about building capacities of both the lecturers and the students. So for this particular case, it's to build the capacities of the students to appreciate human rights, but to also build the capacities of the lecturers mm -hmm. to fully implement the rights of the students. 
the human rights as a course in this university, it helped me understand the rights of every individual and the society at large. As in, I'll be able to understand my rights as a student in this school, and also I'll be able to mingle with the people from the society and able to understand them and also exercise their rights. I will look at it in three dimensions. If you take Article 3, which talks about the normal human rights, you find it expands on which areas we need to look at. But apart from that, if you look at Article 4, the human rights moves on from the normal way to the children, where we have to get the rights of the children and be able to know exactly what it is. And then if you move to the San Salvador Amendment, which talks of the rights to food, the rights to employment, the rights of those handicapped people and the like. So for me, I would think that this is opening up our views to know that when we talk of human rights, we have to embrace that, um, In line with the new constitution, there's a there's need to build a huge mass of Kenyans who are aware of what human rights entails. And we thought we could start this by introducing this as a compulsory course in universities. The university students today, they are students tomorrow, they are our leaders. So we thought there's need to start building a culture of uh, leaders who understand what human rights is all about. So that at the, at the end of it, we will have leaders who will uphold human rights in Kenya. We want leaders, community leaders in this region to be exposed to this course. And therefore we are intending to have a short course, a certificate course, maybe for two, three weeks. And we target the county reps, we count the county government, so that all of them can be in tandem with the, with the knowledge of what is the meaning of human rights. The county government is going to bring their officers here and even the county assembly to be sensitized on the issue of human rights and how it impacts on development and the universe of human rights is something which is a must. I was more than happy when the UN decided to take Laikipi University as the starting point for this course of human rights mm -hmm. and I think this course is going to give us more knowledge to understand our rights and we are determined to work hard so that we will be the advocates of change in the society and protect operation of the individuals in the society. It's a very exciting course, the students are very excited about it, they are really enjoying it. I'm supposed to teach a class of 200 but I usually have over 300 students because the first year students are in class, we also have other students coming to audit the course because they are interested in human rights. The attendance is excellent and it's very interactive because issues of rights are issues that interest a lot of students. So if the society understands itself and understands its rights, then it will be able to move forward in terms of development. These students are just a microcosm of the whole country and they come from different parts of the country. We expect that what they learn in the classroom, they'll be able to apply it elsewhere and also let their colleagues and their friends and communities know what human rights are all about and be able to be examples of people who know their human rights. And this should be able to kind of have a positive impact in the whole country. The expectation is that this is a best practice that should be replicated mm -hmm. in so many countries. Mm -hmm. We expect in Kenya that other universities will buy into this. Mm -hmm. We expect in the continent that other universities in Africa will buy into this. Mm -hmm. And we expect that this practice will be sold to the rest of the world mm -hmm. as, the best, as, as a practice generated within the African continent. Mm -hmm. years working for